Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Friday, March 29, 2024. I pray that God will continue to be with you today and may He continue to show you favor and bless you. Our reading today comes to us from Romans chapter 8. We will read verse 1 to 9. And it says, there is therefore no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not according to the flesh, but after the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit of life is Christ Jesus, who hath made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin condemned sin in the flesh that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not according to the flesh, but after the Spirit. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the Spirit the things of the Spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please God. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit. If so be that the Spirit of God dwell in you, now if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his holy words and may the Spirit of God continue to guide us as we continue to learn more of the Lord and his will for our lives. Now, I will start out by asking this question. What does the Bible mean when it says carnal mind or being of spiritual mind? Let's explore that for a few minutes. So, in the context of the verse, carnal mind really refers to the mindset or the way in which we think and focus on worldly desires, right? So, this is consists of things like selfishness and self-gratification and just those things that gratify self and the flesh. So, this is incomplete opposite to what being spiritually minded is right so therefore if that is carnal mind it therefore means that being spiritual minded is characterized by focusing on the things of god things like being obedient to him and to his will so essentially carnal mind is driven by human desires and impulse so it's about what I want the things that I love to do. So it's not really about God and his interests and plans for our life. It more has to do with us and our desires only, which oftentimes is geared towards the world and selfish desires and selfish things. Just pumping ourselves with pride and, you know, evil practices but spiritually minded individuals they are guided by the holy spirit and so they seek to align their thoughts and action with god's purpose so that is the difference between carnal mind and the spiritual mind the spiritual mind seek after god and the carnal mind seek after self and the flesh okay so in context to what romans it is saying it is basically focusing on the freedom that believers have in christ so it emphasized that there is no condemnation for those who are in christ jesus what does that mean when we repent of our sins and when we confess them we are now covered under the blood of Christ, which absolves us of our sins. So, 
he forgives us of our sins. Now it contrasts the law of sin and death with the law of the spirit of life. So it highlights how the spirit empowers believers to what? Live according to God's will. You remember what we were saying earlier on? What is being spiritual minded? Being guided by the Holy Spirit to live according to the purpose of God. And so it emphasized the importance of having the mindset, focusing on the spirit rather than on the flesh. So we need to look to God and not to ourselves. And as the scripture states, those who are carnal minded are only choosing a life of destruction and death. That's where it's ultimately going to lead for them. But those who choose to be led by the Spirit of God are choosing life and their reward will be a blessing indeed because they would gain eternal life and also have the opportunity to spend eternity with their Savior and King. So choose God because with Him you can't go wrong. Amen? And so as we understand the message this morning and as we understand that in Christ we are redeemed, we are saved from ourselves, may we seek to garner in those things that are of Christ unto ourselves. Meaning, may we seek to walk in His footsteps. May we seek to walk in His purpose and His purpose for our lives. You know, it is so easy to become distracted by the things of the world. It is so easy to go after the things of the world. And the things of the world, they are enmity with God. Because the things of the world oftentimes draws us away from God. And that is why it is very difficult for someone who is of the world to really focus on things that are spiritual or focus on God. And yes, they may have a sense that there is God, but they, because they are so overwhelmed and consumed by the things of the world, they can't give God the time of day. And so they will merely just acknowledge the fact that He does exist, but that's enough. And they will continue to live a worldly lifestyle. And the Bible says that we can't serve two masters. So it's either we will surrender to the devil and to the world, or we are going to surrender to God and the Holy Spirit. So you understand? So that is the difference between the two. And so as we understand this this morning, may we seek after those things that will draw us closer to God so that our relationship with God can become better. And may as our relationship gets better, may we be a blessing to those around us and influence the world in the fear of God. May God continue to bless you and keep you as you continue in your day. Amen.